Hey everybody, Cynthia here. I'm back to share the tutorial on how to make the pinwheel cards from a 6 by 6 inch sheet of paper. I showed you the 4 and a quarter by 4 and a quarter pinwheel cards that I created from an 8 by 8 sheet of cardstock. And this card was inspired by Keenan Creations. I will post the link below to her channel and her tutorial. Um, she's a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I absolutely loved her card so I gave her tutorial a try. The only tip I'm going to share with you is she uses a diagonal plate that goes on top of her scoreboard and that's from Stampin' Up! It's a little bit different if you're using a Martha Stewart scoreboard. If you're going to create these with the Martha Stewart scoreboard, you want to score at three and a half inches instead of three. If you follow her tutorial, you'll know exactly what I mean. Um, but those were my four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And I love the style so much. But I really wanted to use up some of my six by six um, paper pads. I have a couple of paper pads that have a few sheets in them. And I thought they would make, you know, adorable little cards. So papers I used were City Sidewalks from Recollections. It's called uh, oh, City Sidewalks and it's the Christmas paper. And then I also used this holiday paper pad from American Crafts. And one of the sheets had these little tickets you could cut out. So I cut those out and used those as well. And I'm also thinking about doing this project here. I'll show you the bigger piece. This week um, we're supposed to do a home decor project and I thought that would be really cute to give a try um, for the home decor for Christmas time hanging around somewhere. Um, they don't give directions, maybe they do on their website, I'm not sure, I haven't checked it out, but I think I could figure it out from, from just the looks of it and if I do do this I'll share it with you guys. And I also used some washi tapes. This one I love this glitter washi tape for two reasons. It sticks really well and the glitter does not rub off. It's really great washi tape. It came from Joann's. I don't remember the name brand but I used some of that and then I used some of this paper um, paper tape from the Dollar Tree. There's a little glare there. And that stuck really well. That, stuck, that sticks really good as well. And then I also used this really cute Santa stamp little Santa face and this is Hampton Art stamp set and that is called Holiday Dreams and Wishes. So these are how my 6x6 papers worked out and it basically creates a card that measures 3 and 1 8 by 3 and 1 8 approximately. So this is the belly band and I used a scallop circle, my one inch circle punch, my half inch circle punch, stamped the Santa on it, and then these leaves behind here I just added for some interest. Those I cut out um, last week from my Cricut. Um, I think I showed you this in the number 36 Cricut project where they came from. <clears throat> It says do not open till Christmas or until December 25th and then I just have some twine there for a bow and then the belly band slides off so here you have your pinwheel image on your card and then you just open it up and I use double sided paper for this one and stamped in Christmas wishes or Merry Christmas boy I'm really messing that up and then this one I closed counterclockwise and then you just take this piece and tuck it in. The reason why I really love this size is because I made a whole box up um, for my husband to take to work with him to hand out to the teachers there. I'm getting way ahead of myself with the projects which I'm really happy about. Here's one that I did with the washi tape. Tis the season for cheer. Um, but the reason why I really like it is because I was thinking this is a perfect size to tuck in one of those Ghirardelli square, you know, the individually wrapped chocolates and put one in there. And then he can share them with some friends. Um, and also they fit a tea bag inside. 
So I thought that was really neat. You could add a tea bag for a friend, or you could put one of those square, gear, you know, they're flat Ghirardelli chocolates in and just give a little treat to somebody. So I thought that was kind of a fun idea too. I don't think they'll fit a gift card in there, um, but tea bags fit in perfectly. Okay, and also I'll show you the gold ones, how they turn out. That's using the gold washi. So it looks really pro I, I love the way that looks. And this one I stamped on, kind of like my last one. Okay, so that's how those turn out. And then I also created envelopes, which I will give you the sizes and show you how to put these together. And they fit it in real nice. So it's kind of like a little surprise. Okay, so if you're using six by six um, piece of cardstock from your six by six paper pads, you may want to double check and make sure it's exactly six by six. Some of my paper pads that I looked at, they were a little bit over six by six and I had to trim them down. But you want to start out with a six by six sheet of cardstock and you want to put in your diagonal plate that you, um, if you have the Martha Stewart, that creates the envelopes. Okay? You want to line it up. And we're going to score at two and five eighths on all the sides. So two, one, two, three, and five eighths. And then flip it. Two and five eighths. And flip two and five eighths and two and five eighths. Okay, now you can take your envelope diagonal piece and put that away. So you just keep out your scoreboard though. Okay, I'm going to fold this up on the score lines. And we're going to cut out the triangle pieces. Kind of like you would just when you're creating an envelope. I fell in love with these pinwheel cards when I saw them over on Keenan Creations. And I thought hers was really cute. I think she did it with maybe a wedding theme. I can't remember, but I thought, why not try them for Christmas? I think they would look cute for, you know, pinwheels don't only have to be for spring and summer, right? So I may try some Halloween themed ones too, just for some fun. Okay. And then once you have those cut out, it should look like this. And what you want to do is line it up straight across. And you're going to score at three quarters of an inch. We're going to be scoring from the top part here right down to meet this point on the paper. Okay? So line it up three quarters of an inch. Score down to that point. Turn it. Score again at three quarters of an inch down to the point. Turn it again three quarters of an inch and the last time three quarters of an inch. Okay, so now you should have a piece that looks like this. You can see all your score lines. Okay, so we're going to flip this over and fold those score lines over. You can do this with double sided paper or you can do it with single sided and then you know do some stamping on your edges here. Um, I added the washi tape, I stamped on them. It's just a fun way to pull out your stamps. Once you have it folded like that, you want to flip it back over and you want to start folding up your pinwheel. So you close up your paper and you're going to want to cover your point. So it doesn't matter if you go clockwise or counterclockwise, make sure this point 
is being covered by the next flap. If you cover it this way, you won't be able to create your pinwheel. See, it, it'll look like that. So you fold this flap down, cover your point, turn, cover your point up here, turn and cover your point, and then be really careful bending the paper and tucking it in. Gotta play around with it real gently because you don't want to tear your paper. Okay. And that is our pinwheel card and it measures approximately, well this one measures three and a quarter by three and a quarter according to my scoreboard, but some of my other ones measured three and one eighth by three and one eighth. Okay. My belly band piece here measures eight inches long by three quarters of an inch wide. And all I do to create the belly band, you don't want to put it around too tightly because you don't want it to get caught on these flaps. So when you measure the belly band, maybe start measuring it over the flap to make sure you know you have enough room. And then just leave yourself a little bit of room so you can pull it off nicely. And I fold it around and then I'll remove that and I'm going to put adhesive here and adhesive here and put it together. Just use my ATG tape for this one. one flap down, one flap over, and there we go. So there's your belly band. It's a slide over and then you can decorate your belly band however you like. And if you'd like to create the envelope that they fit in, you want to get yourself a sheet of paper. I'm using computer print paper. It's just more cost effective for me, but you can use cardstock, whatever you'd like. Your paper should measure um, 8 inches by 6 inches and you're going to line it up at the 8 inch mark and you're going to score that at 2 inches and again at 5 and 3 quarters of an inch. Flip it around, line it up at the 6 inch mark and you're going to score at 1 inch and then again at four and three quarters. Okay, I'm just gonna fold it up. And as soon as I'm done showing you how to do these, I also have measurements that I will give you if you would like to create the envelopes for the four and a quarter by four and a quarter. I'll give you the measurements for these at the end and then that way you can make envelopes for those as well. Okay, so I'm gonna fold up my score lines. Let me get my, uh, my uh, scoreboard out of the way here. Make sure I'm doing this properly. And then we're gonna be cutting off the four corners. Okay, so we're gonna trim, it should look like that. You're gonna trim this one, this one, that one in that corner off. They have been painting our apartment buildings outside. It has been so unbelievably noisy here and they, you know, put ladders up to paint the top levels and I've been having to keep the blinds closed because otherwise there's men on ladders staring in at you kind of creepy, right? <laughs> so I haven't really been able to do a whole lot of videos, but I'm going to try and get a lot more done um, now that they're finishing up with our building. Okay, so it should look something like this. And what you want to do is you want to fold your smaller flap over. Your bigger flap is going to go on the top. So you're going to put a little bit of adhesive on your smaller flap. And then the inside of your bigger flap. Okay? And then just close it up. 
And then the smaller flap here, that's your bottom piece. We're going to round the corners. And I'll round the corners of the top as well. Add adhesive to the bottom flap and fold that up. And then for the top part here, I just kind of open up the envelope a little bit and use my one inch circle punch. Center it in the middle as best I can and cut a half circle out and that just enables you to pull the card out a lot easier. And that's it guys, that's the envelope and the card. I hope you have fun creating yours. And if you'd like to make an envelope for the four and a quarter by four and a quarter pinwheel card, you want to start off with a sheet of paper 11 inches by seven and a half. And I'll post this below for you guys as well to refer back to. Um, line it up at the 11 inch mark and score at two and a half and seven and a half. Then flip it around, score at one inch and six inches. And then you'll you'll do the same thing I just did here. You'll cut off your four corners, you know, fold up your score lines, and pretty much make the envelope like this one. Okay? But I'll make sure I post those directions below. And if you guys have any questions, let me know. If not, have fun making yours. Thanks for watching. Take care.